Admiral's Log. The battlecruiser Ferrari encountered three battleships of the Austro-Hungarian Navy recently. Up to this point we had been unable to gain much information about their battleships. Attempts at espionage had been unsuccessful. Now, with our battlecruiser laying eyes on the enemy battleships, we were surprised to learn that the enemy battleships carry 13-inch guns. The captain of the Ferrari attempted to shell the ships from outside their range, but his inexperienced crew struggled to get an accurate firing solution. Using his better judgement, the captain of the Ferrari decided to disengage and wait for more favourable circumstances. In another encounter, the heavy cruiser Fiat and light cruiser Coty engaged another Austro-Hungarian convoy. The convoy was protected by a destroyer and a heavy cruiser. The destroyer went down easily, but the heavy cruiser proved to be far more resilient. We seem to, again, encounter the limitations of our semi-armor piercing shells. They were ineffective at consistently damaging the enemy heavy cruiser. Our cruiser also took quite a beating at the hands of the 6-inch guns of the enemy cruiser. The more I get reports of how these semi-armor piercing shells perform in the field, the less I feel confident about our choice of these shells. In time, I will order a refit of our cruisers to make them more effective against the enemy. Hey guys, still here and welcome back. It's episode 4, the Italian campaign. We're going to have a little skirmish with one of the Scharfschütze. This is a destroyer of the Austro-Hungarian fleet, and I only have one destroyer there. The Lamborghini Anfentador 2000, Generale Antonio Cantore. So let's have it out with these destroyers, and let's see if these small guns of mine, these, was it 4-inch singles, I think? Yeah. Let's see if these things can actually do anything useful. Enemy spotted to the east, we're going to keep the torpedoes in reserve, because they might come in handy as a shotgun weapon. 48 knots, not going to be that easy to dodge. And at my own current speed of 37 knots, my turning circle is pretty bad. But once I have the destroyer sighted, and uh, let's say we're in 10 kilometer range, 5 kilometer range, depending on what we get for detection, we're going to slow down, probably to 30 knots or so. That'll be slightly lower than full speed, so not really going to get me the accuracy bonus, but I will get a far better turning circle. Now these destroyers are uh, pretty fast, they are designed to hunt down enemy destroyers and at the same time torpedo larger capital ships, which they have tried before, but these torpedoes, while long range, are somewhat easier to detect. Now we know that these uh, Austro-Hungarian boats are very fond of using their torpedoes, but they don't carry a lot of them. They only have enough for, well, essentially one salvo. After that they're just done. The ship carries 900 semi-armor piercing shells and 290 HE, which is going down pretty quick. I want to see what the AP can do. Slow this thing down. Let me see what the AP can do here. Oh, look at that. Skybox could be a bit higher detail, but it's okay. I do like that sunrise-ish. Ah, well. Anyway, um... Main belt partial pen. I don't think that was the shell from the semi-armor piercing. Accuracy still build- Oh, Ow. Accuracy still building up, albeit slowly. Four gun- four inch guns, triple. Ooh, that's six guns shooting back at me. Uh, of four inch, so the same caliber, but, well... They're doing substantially more damage. Turning circle on them is 307. I don't care about your sonar because I'm way too close for you to be able to actually take any kind of evasive action. This ought to do it. This range. Good luck dodging that, sunshine. Good luck. Uh, no, not that much luck. Ah, there you go. Two hits. Sharp shits a D52 starting to flood, and with minimum bulkheads, that could be a death sentence. Are we actually doing anything with the six inches? Yeah, we're getting over pen, over pen, over pen, over pen. Okay, um, partial pen, over pen. So it's either too much or too little. Looks like the Sharfschutz D52 has secured from flooding. 
The ship has been able to stop the flooding in the after two compartments and is otherwise fine. Give me HE. High explosive, please. There we go. More flooding. HE apparently is the better choice here. Um, SAP might be more useful against light cruisers, and they have no shortage of those either. These things cost 13 million. Mine are more expensive at 18. Come on. <sighs> Finish it off. Finish it off. I'm trying to keep to the stern where they have fewer guns. Come on. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot. Flooding damage, please. Partial pen. semi armor piercing. Partial. Partial. Go on. We don't have time for partial pens. The ship is flooding out, though. There you go. Job done. Okay. Well done, Generali. Well done. Fairly close encounter there. And apparently the semi-aura piercing is not quite doing as well as I hoped. Which is also an issue, of course, that we've seen with the light cruisers. They, too, have an issue where they are actually a bit too effective. Oh, we're losing ships in the Eastern Mediterranean. I wonder why. Maybe because we have zero ships out there. I'm still refitting virtually all of my light cruisers, except for one, the Coty. The Coty, uh, which hails from over here, Taranto, is in battle. Apparently she sailed all the way here and is now protecting, no, attacking a convoy, if you want to call it that. I mean, there's one transport, which has been defended by the light cruiser Meteor and another one of the destroyers. I have two light cruisers and the destroyer, so this should be a fairly swift battle. Of course, we're going to try and hunt down the transport first. Uh, yep. That's the transport. That's your target. Don't torp that. And there are your light cruisers. Torps already looking at me. And something something. Ran out of torpedoes. This guy. Uh, that's interesting. My ships are heading that way. So that means that this guy's torps are also heading that way. And this light cruiser is in the way. What are you going to do? Because <clears throat> if you're going to be doing what I think you're going to be doing... Then it's bad news for you. Hold on. Did we already get these things refit? That's fast. I thought that was going to take several more months. But we already got the two inchers. That's nice. Coty as well? No, the Coty hasn't been refit. What? This is far faster than I'd expected. Anyway, uh, assuming that we have been torped and that the light cruiser is not going to eat those torpedoes, we're going to make a turn. Light cruiser currently. There you go. That's a set of torpedoes. Larger set of torpedoes. There's definitely the light cruiser pitching in. Shoot the transport, buddy. It's your target. Shoot the transport. Uh, give me semi armor piercing. Ho ho ho. Incendiary shells. That's where it's at. <clears throat> Secondaries on this. Secondaries have a range of 4 8. And this means that I'm now able... Can I get this? Sort of. We got the two inchers mounted atop the main turrets. They are seemingly turning independently of the main turret. So that I can engage the light cruiser with the mains. And the destroyer with the secondary, so with the two inchers. Yep, they're coming about. Very, very slowly, though. Job done. Transport eliminated. Continue on your course. Uh, we're going to have a little chat with the light cruiser there. Torpedoes at the ready. Although... Although, 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 I don't know if this thing is going to torp me again. And I would rather keep these destroyers alive. There we go. Getting some secondary guns on the uh, Sharpshits D-42. Which is trying to kill the destroyer with less than a percent chance to hit. Okay, this thing is going to be roadkill. Oof. That was 600 damage out of two shells. Smoke. These things flood very quickly. What about your light cruiser? Come on. Standard bulkheads. Okay. Pitch is really bad on the meteor. 47? 
Oh yeah, they got guns really far forward and really far back. That's probably messing with their dispersion or their uh, displacement, their pitch. Yeah, you're done. Holy crap, these light cruisers take no shit. Look at that, the thing went to extensive fire. That's what killed it. Can we pen this? Oh boy, I'm getting awfully close. If this thing torps me, I'm gonna be dead. Update. Did it torp me? No. Didn't. Did he? Did he's fine. Some damage, otherwise fine. Perfect. Can we pen this? Yes, likely. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, come on. Parcels. More partial. Coty also following. Meteor, 52 million for a light cruiser. 53 million for mine. So we're pretty even. Ooh. That's not good. Flooding on a meteor. Alpha, switch to HE. Coty, detach, hard starboard. I'm gonna keep you on AP, because at this angle, I think the AP semi armor piercing shells can pan. Don't avoid collisions. I am exposing this ship an awful lot. And I don't have a lot of light cruisers, so I gotta try and minimize the damage that I take. And with the, uh, the light cruiser here blocking the path of the Coty, the Coty is holding her fire. Exactly as she should be doing. But... It means that my damage output is drastically lower. Shoot! Come on! Get it! Get it! No! Yes, that's more like it. Flooding. Flooding. Engine out. Flooding. Yeah, now the semi-armor piercing shells are starting to do exactly what I want. Because they should have enough pen to go through the main belt of this ship at this angle. But not... Go out the other end. There's partials. Over pen. Full pen. More flooding. That was a full pen from the stern. Very close encounters here. Don't ram it. Don't ram it. Although I think it'll be dead before you get there. This thing is getting completely obliterated. The amount of fires are pretty much out of control, and the buoyancy is dropping with every single shot. And the battle, yeah, I don't think so. Sunk. <clears throat> Ship destroyed. Destroyer gone. Transport gone. I don't think it's quite going to avenge the loss of our one transport in the Eastern Mediterranean, but it's a start. There we go. Now, what is it about my ships? Because the one that I had out there... Yeah, the Coty is repairing. It was the Alpha Romeo Julia who was out there. I thought she wasn't done refitting. Does this mean I can send ships which are refitting out to sea? Because she did have her new guns. I find this a bit confusing. I do have the, uh, the F1 available. <clears throat> um, where'd I park that? Let's see now. Okay. Let's uh, get you back out there. Eastern Mediterranean. We're going to do a bit of power projection. Oh! This is new. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can see what regions uh, ships have power projection in. Maybe you guys knew this all along, but I didn't. Look at this. I have 967 power projection in the Western Mediterranean, but the French have 17,000. That's a lot. Uh, can we? No, we cannot send any ships because they're all refitting or repairing. Over here, we should be able to send more ships. Power projection 688, probably because we haven't actually sent them out yet. They're not in position yet. But that means that the Adriatic is not actually classified as a separate sea. As a separate area that you can operate in. Okay, 
That's interesting to note. Good, moving on. Now, we have a new encounter, a clash of fleets. Although, again, the game is a bit... using a misnomer when it comes to clash of fleets, because I got one destroyer and they have five light cruisers and a DD. I'm going to try and withdraw, and I'm successful. I am not interested in that fight. The Coty is going to go up against three destroyers. Yes, please, this is what she was designed to do. The Coty, I believe, has not been refit. So she's still using her six inches to the northwest. That's where we're going to go. I'm going to try and empty my HE first before resorting to semi armor piercing because the SAPs just do too much pen. Um, and we know that these cruisers, these light cruisers of mine, have good sonar. We know that their torpedoes are also going to show up here as we don't have any more. So this should be a perfect opportunity for me to eliminate a few more destroyers with one ship. Enemy smoke west. Radar ping here. Okay. We'll be there uh, very shortly. In fact, here's one now. 12 7, 12 6, 12 5, 12 4. There's number 2, 3. Oh, sorry, it's 3 destroyers. I thought it was 4. It's 3. My bad. Green level crew, where you still have a slight debuff to accuracy, but not that much. Come to port. Slow down. 30 knots will auto give me enough speed to both be accurate and dodge torpedoes. If possible, I need to address this turret rotation speed. Because it's only advanced hydraulic, it's not really doing that much. Uh, as long as we have bad accuracy, I'm going to use semi armor piercing. If we get good accuracy, I'm going to start using the HE. Because that will do a lot more damage. But I really don't have a lot of shells for that, because this ship has not been refit. Overpen. Pen. Overpen. Yeah, getting some partial pens on me. What's their pen chance? About 50? 14! Oh, never mind. Somebody just launched a volley of torpedoes. That's one. You're probably going to be next. Whee! Off in the turn. This guy dropped. This guy probably also dropped. Yep, they're all empty. Charge in. Nice try. I gotta be a bit careful here because they have a lot of firepower with those four inches. Oh boy, that was actually. Not quite where I expected those torpedoes to go. Switch to high explosive. Shit. That's what I meant. They have a lot of pen. And a lot of guns. Keep mostly bow in to the rear two destroyers. And eliminate the, bow the, the leader here. D44. There you go. We're getting a lot of ricochets off of the Coty. There's one down. I got 99 shells left. HE, that is. 90. This is why I want to equip the ship with 2-inch guns. Because if you get an opportunity to charge destroyers, then the 2-inch guns are fantastic. Now these were, what, 12? 13 million each. So this is a total of 40 million that they're going to lose. Go on. A few more hits. And the thing will flood or burn. Burn, I think. Flooding. Chance to pen me. 18%. Extensive fire. There you go. Out of HE shells, switching to AP. Very good. Partial pen and over pen. <laughs> right. We are firing light shells, so I cannot really get any less pen on these shells. No, that's not actually true. I could if I use a different propellant. If I probably switch away from 2 powder 3, I'm going to get less pen. Because right now it's just too much. These guys don't have any armor. And at this range, which is about 500 meters, I can pen 9.5 inches of armor. Don't ram me. That would be extremely rude. Also, I'm not interested in facing your guns. Acceleration on these light cruisers is fantastic. The way that I zipped away there, fantastic. 
So, that's another three destroyers out of commission. Or shall we say decommissioned. And that's another 800 victory points. I still lose transports. Power projection here. 2045, but they have 5800. So they got ships at sea there. Okay, the Lamborghini can go again. Perfect. I really enjoy these small fights because this is exactly what I would want with my small fleet. I don't want large-scale battles because that's not something that these ships are going to do well at. They will always outnumber me, but if I take them down one by one and then quickly send them to the dock for repair, then I can easily win this war. I mean, it's going to take me some ships. I might lose the occasional ship here and there. I might have battle cruisers, which occasionally run into torpedoes and then promptly spend six months in dock. But aside from that, I do feel that my chances here to win this campaign, albeit not in a year, are very good. Especially with more ships of mine coming out. Come on, where are your ships? Ought to be pretty close. Yeah, there's six kilometers out. I think that might be the DD. Yeah, that's your escort. Okay, smoky, smoky. Dodgy, dodgy. And shooty, shooty. Get the HE ready. And start blowing this thing up. Be careful, you don't have the same level of firepower. They probably know that. So the only way that we're going to play this and kill it quickly is with the torps. Last time around, we still gave them too much opportunity to dodge. So we're not going to do that today. Soon those four inches of theirs are going to deal all sorts of nasty damage to my ship. Starboard. Ready, ready, ready. Torp when you're available. Torp when ready. Yes. Now is good. Torpedoes away. But is it enough? Yeah, that ought to do it. That ought to do it. Job done. Uh, that means that the battle immediately ends. I don't know if it means that I've sunk the transport. I don't believe it does. Which is why I usually go for the transport first. But I really did not want a lot of damage on my destroyer. Yeah, see, I didn't sink the transport. I still think that that's something that they need to fix. I'm minus 7 million a month. Because I have a couple of ships which are still repairing. Mostly the light cruisers. And in two months we can have the Regina back. As for power projection, I do have another battle cruiser coming up in 17 months. And heavy cruisers are also going to add some, but not necessarily that much. Finance wise, I have most of my naval capacity intact, my transport cap. And let's see how many ships we got coming up. We're building 30. The Austro-Hungarians are building 13. They have 74 ships. I have 14. So we took quite a few of them down already. But we're probably going to have to do a bit more convincing to make sure that they don't get that many more ships out there. Looks like the Germans have also taken a hit to their naval prestige. Mine is 19%. Uh, mine is 19, so quite the opposite. Austro-Hungarians are also not very liked because they keep losing ships. Excellent. Carry on. This time around, it is up to me to defend the convoy. We have a couple of transports which are getting escorted by the Fiat 12000, the Alfa Romeo Giulia 6700, fresh out of repairs, and the same destroyer that keeps popping up. We are getting attacked by the Steyr, which is one of those heavy cruisers of theirs with the 6-inch guns, as well as torpedoes, and two more destroyers. With my heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and destroyer, I should have the perfect mix to take on these threats. Let's see, the heavy cruiser is already detected. Shit, that's not the right side. Okay, people, we need to get a move on. Unfortunately, that is what we are very good at with these ships. Getting a move on. The destroyer is sailing at 37, 37 and 36 for the heavy cruiser. Transports, I recommend you turn around urgently. Fortunately, their heavy cruiser is only armed with 6-inch guns, which means that they have range to about 11... 12-2. That's it. 12-2. Let's go. Hello. That's the DDs. The DDs have a torpedo range of 14-8. So, 
If they really want to mess with my transports, they can. They can do just that. Especially this guy. Uh, what are we shooting? Ideally this. Oh! Impressive. Unexpected. Shoot that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something launched torps. Oh, you did! At what? The heavy cruiser? That's ambitious. I'm being far less conservative with my torps in this campaign. Normally I have them on save and ships tend to either not use them at all or go down with them. Which is a bit of a waste. Why are we firing semi-armor pierce or HE shells when we could be firing SAP? SAP, I think, is going to get me more damage. Um, you have run out of torps. Everybody change direction. There. You're probably torpedoing my heavy cruiser, aren't you? That's what I'd be doing. No! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! That was the heavy cruiser's torpedo salvo, in fact. Shoot this. Shoot this. Yeah, everybody shoot this. With HE. Come on. Get in there. Light damage to the heavy cruiser. Nothing too serious. The destroyer is trying to take some damage. Overpens here and there. This guy is also out of torps. Ooh, a torpedo actually hit. But not mono mine. That was this D14 that just quite literally stabbed him in the back. With a torpedo, though. So, the D14 is now classified as a Brutus. It is not as friendly as it would appear. But I am quite grateful to the D1 for actually absorbing the torpedoes that were meant, probably, for my heavy cruiser. No, for the DD. Ah, oh, the AI and its just sheer hatred for destroyers. I feel my ships in this campaign are almost too good. The way that they continuously murder the enemy's ships without taking too much damage. Here, there's another ship completely on fire. Without taking too much damage is very impressive. Even if I say so myself. AP, please. AP, please. Smoke. Can you pen me with those sixers? No. Not very well. Keep the DD safe. Just retreat. There's not much more for you to do here. This guy's also not packing a reload of torpedoes. Don't fucking do that. So I don't have to worry about any more torpedoes is what I was going to say. And then the guy launched. Hold on, can we not pen this? 4 kilometer range. 6.7, aft, so that's 5.2... Yeah, we should be able to pen that. It's just bow and stern, though. Bulkheads on these? Standards. Okay, you're gonna throw out your explosive, and you're gonna continue with the AP, because... What? 4.7. So 5, 8.9. That's what I can pen. But even that's not enough to go through the main. No, for the main we need to get 13 inches of pen, which is... I don't know, less than 500 meter range? It won't be very much, at least. High explosive, please. We have to motivate this thing to sink some other way. And he still has torps. Those, specifically. Those. Damage to the main gun, damage to the main tower. We've seen this guy before. Well, not this guy, maybe per se. But these heavy cruisers are not as easy to sink as they might appear. I tell the DD to come around. Am I going to get hit by torps? No. See, it's not the first time that I barely survived an encounter with one of these things with my heavy cruiser. Give me semi-armor piercing. Just lots of pew-pew. All sorts of light damage. Destroy torpedo launcher. Floodings. It's more like it. Chance to pen, 
Ricochet, 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 ricochet. High explosive. Floodings. Yes. The whole bow compartment's on fire. Is that an ammo detonation? No. Looked somewhat violent. Yeah, she's at a good angle again. Armor piercing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go throwing torpedoes now. You can. Hold. You can. So you just launched your starboard section at my light cruiser, huh? What if I'm going to use my starboard section on your heavy cruiser? These torps are 48 knots. This guy can dodge very nicely. But I have a fantastic turning circle on these. Whoa! As well. That's the other torpedo tube. I thought I might have destroyed it, but in fact... It is very much alive. Alright, dude. I think you've had your fun with your torpedoes. Now, let me have mine. Portside launcher. Terrible launch angle. But I'm expecting to hit it on the stern and potentially cause rudder damage. Although, I don't know if I'm going to hit it at all. Maybe. There it is. Let's get the alpha turned around. Structural integrity is dropping like a brick. I would like to get the starboard salvo away, because this was the port side. So I need to come alongside here. Oh, you're still struggling with your turrets. I really need to up the turret rotation on those lights. Because it's just not fast enough. Destroyed secondary tower. Their rudder has indeed been damaged. Along with the rest of the ship. Floodings. Send it. It's still functional. It might not be. No, starboard torpedo launch has been destroyed. Crap. Okay, are these expensive? 54 mil. Mine are far more expensive. Mine, fortunately, will survive. Yours will not. Where's the DD? Racing to the rescue. Excellent. This thing is starting to flood. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 20, 22. Okay, good. Rudder damage on the Fiat. <sighs> I like the semi-armor piercing shells idea, but execution leaves something to be desired. Because it's either overpen or underpen. It's either overpen or you don't pen them at all. There's very little middle ground, if any. Which makes it hard to use these things. Anyway, um, 48 victory points for them, but 1,271 for me. Again, small engagement. I got the victory. They lost some ships. They're down to 69, and I still have my 14. Although, they will be repairing for still a while. Leading me to, again, a mana minus of 6 million. And since my tech budget is already none, uh, the only thing I can save on is crew. But I refuse to do that. I know that once I have my ships repaired, this is going to stabilize very quickly. Now, their power projection should have taken a hit. Holy shit, 12k? How? They don't have any power projection there at all. I can just move these here. And you as well. Here. Then we got... What the fuck? Why is there a German task force here in the Western Mediterranean? What's that about? That's five lights and a DD. What are the Germans up to? There's more Germans here. A battleship? Destination, Western Mediterranean. Excuse me? Okay. Um, I feel like I still need to project more power here. I really want to make sure that all of my transports survive, or at least as many as possible. But with a mere power projection of 37, which is about a fourth of theirs, it's not going to do very well. So that should make it very interesting in the next few episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is enough clobbering of the Austro-Hungarians for one time. 
and I'll see you soon for more episodes.